Testing, testing. <sighs> hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911 back again with another unboxing. This is my second unboxing this week. I've had this sitting in the basement in a corner for about, I don't know, three months now. Uh, it's taking up a lot of space and I figured I have to do an unboxing video of this. I got to see what's going on inside, make sure nothing's broken or damaged. But uh, this is it. I had this on pre-order for two years. It finally arrived. Uh, it is the Mattel Creations Baby Yoda plush, which was kind of weird anyways. Uh, but um, I mainly got it for the motorized pram, uh, hover pram in here, which is really cool. I know the new one now uh, in the Mandalorian is made of Beskar or it's all silver, but this is the original pram. And it's supposed to be pretty movie accurate or screen accurate, TV show accurate, uh, what have you. And I'm um, excited to open this thing up. So this is the brown shipper box that it came in. Just says Star Wars, the child, special edition plush uh, serial number and made in China, contains one piece. This is a massive, massive box. Uh, I bought three of these, I've already sold one and it was so big when I shipped it to the U.S. It cost me $150 to ship it. So it's, and that's with a 60% discount that I get through UPS. So it's kind of insane. But this one's here to stay, and I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what's inside. All right. Um, just from the outside of the brown shipper, you can't really tell what it is. Um, I mean, and it's kind of. All the wording is kind of cryptid, cryptic, like SW child. I guess like if you're a Star Wars fan, you would fan, you would know that it means Star Wars child, the child. And uh, it says special S SPCL, yeah, special edition, and then plush. So the plush really throws it off. <laughs> so I've been thinking that later on, I'm going to go and purchase the hot toys. Um, Baby Grogu, life size, the child, uh, not the sideshow statue because it's not posable. And I think that the Hot Toys one will suit this better and it'll look better when you open up the pram and there's a better looking Baby Yoda than some plush. I think it's the same plush um, except with hair that you can get at like Walmart or any toy store really. So uh, I think the only special edition part about it is is the hair. <laughs> Okay, big box. <laughs> uh, you guys can't see it from there, and I don't know if I can tip this box over, but it says right on the top, it says Q dramatic box opening music. It would have been even cooler if they actually put one of those, you know, like birthday card when you open it up and it has that mechanism where it plays some music. But uh, no music queuing. All right, protective. Uh, cardboard up top here and uh, let's see don't know how I'm gonna get this I think out of here it doesn't even have uh, protective plastic over top or any corner protectors which I find very strange oh. but oh now that I have the box there here you guys can see and of course the table is tipping over, but it says Q dramatic box opening music. <laughs> and this thing is quite heavy. All right. it's upside down so let's say the bottom contents two figures pram with stand blanket and instructions serial number Disney okay so this box is a little underwhelming I mean it has a frog on it I know he eats frogs and he was chasing frogs, but that's pretty much it. 
There's just this kind of a thing there and whatever that is in, you know, in the Star Wars universe language. Star Wars and just that. I'm just gonna assume that it says the asset or the child, who knows? And that's it, where, where do we open this thing from? Oh, so you have to open it from the side or the side here. So I guess what we're gonna do is maybe put it on the ground. Oh. And open it up from here. No tape sealing it, nothing. It's just, we can just open it like so. All right. There's kind of like a tray in this box. So I might have to lay it down sideways on the table and pull out this tray. So I'll show you guys first. Oh. There, this is their tray here and lots of lots of foam padding. And yeah, you just kind of pull this tray out, which is actually quite simple. Place this off to the side. Uh, inside the box, it's all printed just like the outside. So you basically just see, you just basically see that. Um, nothing spectacular, nothing to write home about. Um, I don't know. I don't even know how many units they sold of this, but I know it's sold out and you can't get them anymore. We got some instructions here. Um, not even going to bother with this. What is going on here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to pull this thing up. And ooh, okay. Very nice foam molded or cut out uh, protection there. And that is the plush right there. I mean, the plush is pretty cute too. Yeah, he looks really cute. You know, he has like the plush hands. Maybe you can hide it under the blanket and you can just have his head poking out. So, you know, who knows? I might be saving a couple of bucks or not paying, buying the hot toys one, but we'll see. So on the side here, oh, not sure how to, okay, so you separate it like so. Okay, so. Before I, eh, I'll put him over to the side here. And then also, this is, I guess, the pole for the hover pram. It's all wrapped in a cling wrap or cellophane. Actually, it's quite heavy and very, very thick. All right, so let's see. Put that there. Put Baby Yoda here. And then right now on this, we have the base. Cool looking base, very solid and sturdy. Wow, this is Star Wars. There. Uh, so I guess I will put it on the table. Not sure how high this thing extends. And then we have uh, these pieces here. which are part of the, the stand. So I will unwrap these to the best of my ability. And it's just tearing like crazy. So the secret, I guess, is to find the end. Okay, oh, well, that's this one. They wrapped it twice. I'm gonna use this short one and it just screws into the base like so and then that goes there and then 
the pram will screw onto there. But if I guess you wanted to use the two, well, I guess you can use either one or the other. So you wouldn't join them together. This would be the short one if you wanted to display it on the tabletop like I am now, or you would use this longer one to display it on the floor. And it screws in very nicely, very smoothly, very solid. And you wouldn't be able to join these anyways. Um, and then you would use that cat, I guess that piece would bolt into the, or screw into the pram. But for ease of filming, I'm just gonna use the short one. But you guys get it, all right? I'll to take some photos after with uh, the tall, the tall mount. Okay, like that, that is the base there. And we have Baby Yoda. I'm not sure if this thing comes with batteries. We'll find out. It would probably be easier <laughs> instead of me spinning this pram on top yeah, just by screwing it into here. go screw it in and sitting on there and you can spin them it's great all right that actually looks really really cool um wow wow if the ir sensor is obstructed the doors will not close that makes sense i don't know where the sensors are but, uh, let's see, let's remove this. No, this. It comes out as one, one whole piece, like that. And on the inside, we have a blanket. Adult collector, do not put a child in the pram. I don't think I would put an actual child in the pram, plus my daughter's too big anyways. This is actually quite a soft blanket. On this side, it's very soft. This side, a little rougher. But uh, looks very uh, Star Wars-y. Okay, we'll put that in there. It's uh, very plastic on the inside, uh, but it does play the part. It looks it looks the part. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Maybe a little pricey for $400. Um, but I mean, it's a life-size pram. And it's motorized, so we'll see. Let's see, uh, let's take this sticker off. I'm pretty sure there's no batteries in this thing. Oh, that's it. It's just the sticker. It doesn't do anything else. And there's probably no batteries. But before we get the batteries, we're gonna open up uh, Baby Yoda here. Just like so. Got the little octopus and Baby Yoda. Actually, he's quite cute. I mean, he looks a lot better than I thought he would um, that I've seen in photos and in videos. Like, he looks like Baby Yoda. <laughs> or Grogu. His little feet in here. Very soft inside. And you can see his little, I mean, bum. <laughs> but yeah, that's really, really cute. Looks really, really good. I'm, I'm, maybe I don't have to spend $400 on a Hot Toys, the child. A little bit of weathering done there. Unless somebody had really dirty hands and touched it. Uh, but the outfit is done really, really well. Yeah. I think... Yeah. You got the little hair on the top there. I think he looks good. All right. Put him here for now. And then this is the octopus. Or whatever they call this. 
It's funny that they have the frog all over the packaging and they don't supply a frog, but they give one of these. Or even one of those uh, macaron looking things. <laughs> those look delicious. So yeah, that's it. And underneath here, there's even detail underneath here. With the suction stuff that octopuses usually have. So yeah. Oh, that, I guess that kind of fits on his face. <laughs> okay, so we'll put him inside the pram. And I guess with his plush hands and feet, it gets covered up with a blanket anyways, so... He just... He just looks like a toy. Like, if there was more paint app or shading on his face, um, this would look way, way better. Let's put them in there, put him inside. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some batteries and uh, we'll be right Okay back. guys, I'm back. So we got this little door off on the back here. I'm gonna turn this thing around. Just two screws, Phillips head. And this thing takes one, two, three, four, five, six double A batteries. So, um, have six double A's here and we're just gonna load it up. <laughs> a lot of batteries. It's gonna add quite a bit of weight to this thing. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six. Okay, then we're gonna put this back in. It's a very solid door, by the way. Let's take our Phillips screwdriver here. Let's screw it back in. You don't want to over tighten these either. It's just plastic. So you don't want to strip the plastic or crack the plastic. So as soon as you just start feeling to get a little snug, that's all you need to do. All right, so. What do we do here? I think uh, we just touch the front here. Yeah. Is there an on button? There is an on button. <laughs> There's an on button just underneath here. It's quite a big switch. Turned it on. And I think we just touch here. Uh oh. That was not a good sound. What is going on here? So it sounds like it's binding on something. There's nothing in the way. Interesting. So I just had to kind of give it a kind of push there. There's something tight. So when it was just opening there, you could tell that it was just slowing down, like binding somewhere. Hmm. If I help it, it's no problem. Interesting. Let's try opening again. And you can see it just slows down right when it gets to about here. You can kind of hear the motor struggling a little bit. So I'm wondering what is tight on it. Let's try it again without helping it. Yeah, so there's some tightness here somewhere. Not sure. This screw looks like it's screwed in a little too tight. Let's try that. 
<laughs> I did it. Oh, it's still slowing down a little bit there. Let's see. Seems like it's getting a little higher. Interesting. It's definitely this side. Maybe it's binding a little bit. Maybe it was just too tight in the shipping box and I've left it in the shipping box too long and it just needs to, you just need to kind of pull the plastic away from the door a little bit. Still feels like it's binding a little bit. Okay. Seems like maybe if you just open and close it a couple times, things kind of loosen up. It should be okay. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That looks, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like how, I don't really like how loud the motor is. I don't think it's like that in the movie, but I like how it beeps when it closes, like beep, and then. Yeah, it beeps when it fully opens and it beeps when it fully closes. That's really annoying. So it looks like, no, it's the same gap all the way around. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. It's gonna be pretty embarrassing opening and closing it and it binds up um, when people come over. But I think it opens easier than it closes. So when I have it displayed, it'll probably be closed. So not much dust goes inside. And then when I open it, it'll look pretty cool with Baby Yoda just sitting or sleeping inside. I was going to use the animatronic Baby Yoda that they sold a couple of years ago, just before Christmas, but he's much, much smaller than obviously this life-size Grogu. So I think I'm just going to keep him in there and keep the other one brand new in the box. Yes. It's going to be like a anticipation. Every time I try to close, it's like, oh my gosh, please close. Um, so far, so good. Yes. Okay. So. I'm happy with that. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod. We're gonna do some close-ups. Um, not really much to see. Uh, what you see right here is what you get, but I think when you guys take a closer look, um, you might appreciate it a little bit more. And I think it's uh, pretty cool. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I now have him sitting on the floor. I think he looks pretty cool that way. Uh, that's how I'm actually gonna display it by my home theater and this uh, crazy sort of, and with the way how clear the acrylic tube is, and kudos by the way that they did that, it's a very solid, expensive feeling and looking acrylic tube. Um, with the floor, with it being so busy like that, um, it really does just kind of disappear, um, you know, in the into the background. So if I lift the camera up like this, it really does kind of look like it's floating. And uh, I think that's a really, really cool effect. Mind you, they did make one that actually hovered on magnets and I think they were doing it as a charity and it ended up selling on eBay, I forget, I think for $10,000 or something like that. And it was a pretty cool thing to marvel and see. So I'm just adjusting the camera a little bit here. I can't get it level. And uh, yeah, so this is the baby Yoda, um, or the child, or Grogu, 
uh, in his hover pram. And uh, we'll just get up close here. And I'll do a little spinneroo. You can see the weathering here. It's actually indented. It's not just painted. I mean, it's painted on inside the indent, but you can really just feel um, the scoring and the damage of, I guess, this white, um, off-white ivory sort of finish. Um, even the stripe here, you can actually feel it. Uh, this one is just painted on. Uh, great detail here on the hinges. It would have been cool if there was like some lights there. I'm not sure if it actually has lights on the on the actual one, but I'm pretty sure there was lights here. Um, but yeah, I think they nailed the detail. And uh, I'm pretty happy about it, actually. Um, looking at the videos online, it was kind of a little underwhelming, but having this now in person, I think it looks awesome. And this is a must for any um, Mandalorian fan or uh, Grogu the child the asset um, Baby Yoda fan out there. So uh, I think this is the sensor here. So if it's obstructed, it doesn't open. So when you unobstruct it, opens right up. And there is Grogu in this thing. I don't think I'm gonna display it with that, but I don't know where else to put that. So I might just have to. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like his little snack that he has. But yeah, I think he looks great. I guess I can sit him up a little bit like this. His ear is kind of touching the sides. But then again, with his hands covered, you don't get that whole plush looking, looking hand. So, just like a little baby. And then close them up. So while off camera, while I was kind of uh, assembling the base, I was opening and closing, opening and closing it. Maybe it just took a little bit of oiling or self-oiling, self-lubrication. I don't know how they do that because it's all plastic. Uh, certain plastics are self-lubricating, like Gelrin or something. I don't think that's what that's made out of. But uh, after just kind of opening and closing a bit, just getting everything kind of like to track better, um, maybe to loosen stuff up. It seems to be working just fine now. You can kind of still see that kind of binds right about this way. It kind of goes and then goes. But closing now, um, it is not a problem. And there you can see kind of like the pause. Maybe the batteries, they're brand new. Um, maybe I'll try to get some lithium double A's and see how that works. Maybe it'll just give it some more juice. Uh, some more torque or whatnot, uh, and yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is my quick unboxing and review, finally, after this thing's been sitting here for months, uh, of the the child Mattel Creations uh, hover pram. Yeah, so. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think it was overpriced? Do you think it was priced just right? Um, the only way you guys can get this now is through the secondary market because this was a crowdfunded project by Mattel Creations and you just can't get one anymore. Uh, but I have one brand new in the box. I think I will probably just keep it um, like, like that and maybe sell it later down the line. But right now I'm super happy with this. I think it looks great. Um, I wish the inside was maybe a little bit more padded, but it's all just hard plastic. Um, you can see there, there's some, some detail here, but I wish, I don't know, it was like if these, uh, these pieces were, uh, softer, but I think that would be a wear item. And then we know how soft rubber and like pleather lasts throughout the years. It just falls apart and cracks. So longevity wise, this was probably their best bet, that, and it was probably cheaper for them to make. Uh, but uh, yeah, I am very, very happy with this. I'm so glad that I was able to score one uh, when the crowdfunding started. And, uh, yeah, super excited. So please like and subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.